Look at this really sad girl. You must be wondering why this girl is so sad. But she hasn't always been like this. <laughs> Take this! <laughs> there it goes! Look at this! You will be able to catch it! <laughs> <laughs> now I will tickle you. Oh, tickling scary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why did you spoil a delicious piece of cake like that? It's a sweet makeup. <laughs> oh yeah? Then try it yourself. <laughs> 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 Take this! <laughs> Wait, I just ran out of water! <laughs> Did you hear me? Please stop! <laughs> this is the best mother and daughter party! <laughs> And everything changed when my mom found a brand new job for herself. <sighs> um, Sophie, breakfast is in the fridge. Mom, do you remember what day it is today? Uh, it's Monday. <gasps> it's true, it's Monday. I'm late for a very important meeting. <sighs> Today's my birthday, Mom! <sighs> and that's why I'm all alone on the day of my birthday. Oh, I almost forgot. I have Happy some birthday, amazing Sophie. best friends, Kevin and Rachel. Happy birthday to the best friend in the world. Hey, and me? You too, but today's her birthday. Congratulations. Thank you so much, guys. Why are you so sad? Oh, that, well, no reason in particular. Hey, you don't have to be sad on your birthday. I know why you're so sad, friend, because you have to go to school on your birthday. Oh, is it that? Are you worrying about school? Don't think about it. We'll have a couple of classes and then we will have a big party. Our heads will explode. Literally. <laughs> Okay, guys, it's hard to be sad when you're around. Let's go to school. The class is going to start now and I still have nothing ready. Ah, uh, my hands are weak. I jumped on the balcony and said, Princess, I love you so much. And she almost kissed me on my lips. And, and. And. Mom came to wake me up. <sighs> it was an amazing dream, though. I told you to read less before you go to bed. What's wrong with that? At least I was a gentleman in the dream. By the way, Sophie, you haven't shown us what your mom gave you today. Uh, my mom, uh, she said she'll give it to me later. Has she forgotten it again? <gasps> yeah. <sighs> Sophie, don't be discouraged. How will she not get discouraged? Her mom forgot her birthday. I wanted to support her. Ah, Sophie, don't be discouraged, girl. Has your mother forgotten your birthday? Mr. Brandon, why were you there? Excuse me, guys. I accidentally overheard your conversation. All of it? Yeah, too bad you didn't kiss the princess. Oh, man, the cringe. I think it's not okay that your mother forgot your birthday today. But to make you feel less sad, I also have a present for you. I wonder what it is. All classes are going to be cancelled today. Mr. Brandon, that's the best gift of all. Thank you, I didn't expect that. Go have fun, children. See you tomorrow. Oh. I think Mr. Brandon's so cool. Yeah, it's Sophie's birthday, but the gift is for everyone. 
Hey, why are you so sad, Sophie? Well, lately my mom is not paying any attention to me at all. But forgetting my birthday... I know it can lift your spirits, my friend. Let's make our favorite contest of which one of us eats more candy. You guys, thank you very much, but I think I better go home. I don't feel like having fun. And what about your birthday party? Let's save it for my next birthday, guys. But it's in a year! Mom, I'm back home! As always, she's not home! Oh, my favorite hobbies are lying down and doing nothing! Hello? Oh, who are you? How did you get here? Don't yell, girl. Please calm down now. I'm Nicole. That doesn't mean anything to me. I'm your new nanny. Say what? A new nanny? I'm not little anymore. Tell me who you are or I'm calling the police right now. Wait, there's no need to call the police. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, try it. Your mother is never at home and she has no time for you. That's why I'm here. Okay then, go on. I almost believe you. And I also know that today is your birthday. That's why I don't come empty-handed. Ta-da! Oh wow, how did you do that? It's magic. Kids like those tricks. That's cool. You have to teach me how to do it. Of course, we'll have plenty of time to do all of that. Okay then, I really like you. It's good that we get along well from the start. Do you want to eat? It depends on what. My special dish, buns. <laughs> of course I want them. Come to the kitchen when you smell a lot of spices. That means the buns will be ready. I really love spices. Nicole, your foot smells so great. Oh, mom, are you back home? Yes, Sophie. I didn't know you could cook so well. Oh, but it wasn't me. Have you bought them? Tell me in which store. I didn't. Did you order them? What? But I said they had to do it another way. They were prepared by Nicole herself. Who is Nicole? Well, she's my new nanny. Ah, uh, I get it. Wait, what nanny? Kids imagine things. Mm -hmm. So how are the buns? Awesome, mom also liked them a lot. That's great, I'm glad. Hey, I think something is missing right now. Yeah, we can add more spices. I don't mean that. We need a party. It's your birthday after all. Oh, mom forgot it's my birthday as always. How could she? She works a lot lately and she doesn't have time for me. It's so sad to hear that. I have already gotten used to it. <sighs> What is this? <gasps> it's Sophie's birthday today! How could I forget about it? I have to buy a gift urgently! This is my salvation! Sophie, sorry for not congratulating you before. I was just waiting for your gift to be brought here. Amazing! Thanks a lot, Mom! I just saw this yesterday at the store that I like! How did you know? Well, I'm your mother. The truth is that I thought you'd forgotten it. So you thought that I would forget my own daughter's birthday? Later, I'll bring the cake. Oh, I see someone's mood changed while I was gone. My mother congratulated me. She didn't forget it. You see, you were sad for no reason. I came to wish you a good night, little girl. I have a request for you, Nicole. Tell me. My mom used to read a story for me before bed. I understand. I will bring a book that I can read.
Cuckoo, can I? Yeah, of course, mom. Hi, daughter. I've come to wish you good night and to tell you something. Yeah, what is it? I have to go on a work trip for a couple of days. Uh, I get it. So then, you will not say anything? Well, no. And what about you live very often or I want to go with you? It doesn't matter, I think Nicole and I are gonna have a good time. Nicole, is she your new friend? Oh yeah, I think we're already friends, she's a great woman. Okay, have fun with her then. Have a good night, mom. I'm here. Your mom said she's going away for a couple of days. Mom, um, Nicole, you have been so good to me. We'll have a lot of fun. Oh, I like that idea. Once upon a time, a grandma and a granddad. La 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 la. Hello, Sophie. You're shining with happiness today, friend. Because everything's fine. Tell us more details about it. You see, my mom didn't forget it was my birthday after all, and she even said congratulations. That's fantastic. And now I have a new nanny who's so amazing. Oh, a nanny. That sounds cool. Uh-huh. And also my mom will be gone for a couple of days, so Nicole and I are going to have fun all that time. Is Nicole the new nanny? Yeah, she's so cool and she makes the best buns I've ever eaten in my life. Mm. Oh, that's great. What matters is that you're not sad anymore. I'm gonna introduce you guys to her, of course. She's gonna love you guys. Good morning, children. How could it be good, Mr. Brandon, if I can see those test shits in your hands? Oh, and how did you know? It's Tuesday. There's a test every Tuesday. Very good, Kevin. You're very attentive, but today it won't be a normal test. I'm curious now. This is a test sent by our psychologist. And what do we need it for? He said this test will help us to know you better and adapt the classes to you. Well, it's better than a math test anyway. Kevin, hand them out. You'll return them to me later. Ugh. Nicole, I'm home! Hello, how was cool? Oh, nothing interesting. We took a really weird test today. I get it. Well then, what are we going to do today? For starters, I say we watch a show. School makes me feel tired. That's great. I wanted to do that too. Which one will we watch? The Tears of the Rain. I love it so much. Oh, me too. Wait, really? Of course. Who doesn't like it? My mom says that those shows give you the illusion that you have a happy life. But she's not here. Well, yeah, it's true. Hey, I don't get it. Me neither. Uh, what time is it? Half past four. And where's Sophie? She could already be here. Uh, are you sure we were going to meet today in the cafeteria? Well, yes. Maybe something has happened to her. <sighs> she didn't pick up. Let's check her house. No, just forget it. She's probably asleep. Please, Kevin, I want to make sure she's fine. Okay, let's go. All of this is so weird. Don't even say it. Is it possible for her to be that dumb and not realize that he's in love with Kara? Oh, I'll get that. You're fine after all. Hey guys, what's wrong with you? Haven't you forgotten anything? Oh, I'm sorry. We had agreed to meet at the cafeteria. You see that? She's totally fine. Let's go. Come in. I'm gonna introduce you to Nicole. Well, okay. Nicole! Oh, this is weird. She was here. Nicole! She probably went outside. Well, you'll introduce her to us another day. Let's go. See you tomorrow, and I'm sorry again. Who was it then? 
My friends, I wanted to introduce them to you. Where were you? I went to take the Jenga. Oh, my favorite game! It's cool that you're my nanny. It's been long since I had such a good time. From now on, it will always be like this. Ever since mom found a job, we stopped having fun. All adults are like that. Work hard, work hard, work hard. Before we could really have fun all day, it was really cool. Maybe you just have to talk to her. I've tried that and I always got the same answer. I have to earn money for both of us. Well, but she's right about that. But I'm her daughter. She has to pay attention to me sometimes. That's also true. That's what I mean. The situation is difficult. I think we'll come up with something to solve it. One day would be enough for me. I think we can organize that. <sighs> I won this round, so how will we organize that? I don't know, but I'm sure we'll come up with something clever. Listen, yesterday I saw they opened a new bowling club. Wanna go there? I've never played bowling. Me neither. We'll learn together. Hello, Sophie. Good morning, my friend. Do you want to go bowling with us? I'd really love to, but today I can't make it. I'm gonna go shopping with Nicole. What a shame. It would be more fun together. We'll go next time. I promise you that. Hello, children. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Brandon. Brandon. Sophie. I wanted to talk about the psychology test. Is something wrong? I don't know, but he wants to talk to you. Who? The psychologist. Who else? All right. Hey, Mr. Brandon, would you like to show us what you can do? Kevin, I don't have time for that. Yeah, I understand. With your age and all that... Well, okay. <laughs> it's just that I haven't warmed up. It's weird that since Nicole appeared, Sophie has stopped going out with us. Wait a sec, are you jealous of her? Yeah, the three of us used to hang out before, it was fun. And you don't have fun with me then? You know what I mean. Calm down, dude. It's normal for a person to have a lot of friends. As long as you don't forget the old friends. She hasn't forgotten us at all. Oh, Sophie, tell us what the psychologist wanted. He made some strange questions. He also asked me about Nicole. Yeah, psychologists are weird, a bit crazy. He said he wanted to come home and talk to her. To Nicole? Why does he want that? I have no idea. He may need a psychologist himself. Okay, children, let's start the class. Mr. Brandon, what's wrong with you? Uh, I had a bad workout. Hello, Nicole. Hello. Hey, there's one thing. There's a guy who wants to come visit us and talk to you. Who? Our school psychologist. Um, uh, what does he want with me? I don't know. Oh, that has to be him. Hello, Sophie. Hello, come in. Uh, can I speak to your nanny, Nicole? Yes, of course, sir. Nicole! Where is she? He's already here, Nicole! Isn't she at home? Well, yeah, she was. Nicole! I told her that you would come home right now. Okay, then. I can come back another time. Is he gone? Yeah, why were you hiding there? I don't really trust psychologists that much, to be honest. Sorry, I forgot my pen here. Sophie, who are you talking to? Nicole, come out! He has already seen you. It's just that you scare her. Hello, mister. 
You see, here she is. Uh, nice to meet you, Nicole. Um, okay, I'm leaving now. So fast? But you said you wanted to talk to her. Um, it's no longer necessary. I told you, I don't trust them. They're very weird. I agree with you. Shall we go shopping? Oh, oh, oh come on. Hey, are you doing okay, bro? Hello, Rachel. So, you played this whole time? Yeah, I'm almost done. It's a very hard game. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Rachel, what's wrong? Oh, look, I just lost. You're not listening. Well, I can't pay attention right now. You messed up my game. I have to start all over. What were we talking about before? Ah, it's true. Bowling. Sorry, I was playing. Let's go right now. <sighs> My hands hurt so much. <sighs> uh huh, we bought so much stuff for you. Sophie, I'm home, dear. Mom, you came back home. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Uh huh, I will share this. Nicole and I went shopping today. Nicole, what if you introduce us? Uh, you're so funny, Mom. What's so funny about it? Your mother is back home. Yeah, I spoke with her. Listen, I thought of something. What is it? How about we tell your mother that your teacher gave you a special assignment? And how does that help? Listen up. Go get your camera. Tell your mother that you have to record everything. You will make a presentation. But my teacher didn't say anything. Does your mother know that? Lie to my mom? But I've never done that. What's the big deal about it? We're not doing anything wrong. Think about it. Okay, you might be right. Let's go for it. Mom, we need to talk. So my teacher gave me an assignment. Make a presentation about how I spend my time with my family. That's fine by me. That would mean spending time with you, Mom. Sorry, dear. I'm too busy. Tell them that uh, we spend quality time together. But they want me to record it. For real? Yeah, you wouldn't want your beloved child to get a bad grade at school. Fine, I'll move my schedule to take the day off. Fantastic, I'll go to bed so I can wake up early. I think I'm stuck. Just let me try. It hurts! Kevin, tell me, is your head filled with air? How did your fingers get stuck? The other balls were too heavy. Okay, enjoy bowling for life. I don't want to live like this. I can't play any games. You should have thought about it before. What do I do? <laughs> Stop crying. I'll get some soap. Maybe it helps. <laughs> Today is going to be a great day. Oh, you're already up. So, ready to have fun? Of course. My mom and I are playing our favorite game. Hey, Sophie, are we doing this all day? Your mom has to work. Mom! I was only asking. Hello. Hello, Miss Violetta. Hi, guys. Why are you here? Uh, I don't know. Weird. We were bored. So what? Don't you have homework? What homework? Well, you know, the day with your parents. What do you mean? Sophie, I don't understand. Guys, you didn't pay attention to Mr. Brandon. Uh, guys, I was looking for you. Hello, Violetta. I guess you forgot to tell them about their family assignment. What assignment? 
I needed your help to get some books from the library. Sophie, how could you lie like that to your mom? Don't blame it on me, you're always so unbelievable. It's not okay, Sophie. Adults have to work in order to make money. But other parents make time for their children. We've already had this conversation. Yeah, I know, work, but I'm not asking for much. Of course, you chose to lie instead. I just want attention, you have completely forgotten that you have a daughter! <sighs> From what I can see, it didn't go as planned. Yeah, I'm so angry at her! Me too. Why are you? Because you are. I understand. Wait, what if she didn't have a job anymore? What are you talking about? Does she keep her work documents in her laptop? Well, yeah. Right, we have to get rid of the laptop. No way, that would be a total disaster. But you're mad at her. So much. You know what to do. I don't understand what happened. No, I don't understand either. Sophie is up to something weird. Yeah, we need to talk to her. Speak of the devil. Sophie, what was that? Can you tell us? About what? About your homework. It was my mom's idea to tell Nicole about the family assignment. You could have told us beforehand. Never mind, it's over. Did Nicole tell you to lie to your mom? So what are you trying to imply, Kevin? Well, true friends wouldn't encourage you to lie to your parents. Sophie, that Nicole is a bad influence on you. You just don't know her, she's the best! Exactly, we don't even know her, but she spent all day with her. Wait, Nicole is my friend, are you trying to frame her? You have to admit that it's strange. We didn't get a chance to meet her. And what's so weird about that? Since you're friends with her, you have been acting very strange. Oh, what do you know, Kevin? She's so cool, at least she tries to help me. How? Huh? By lying to your mom? Much better, she came up with the idea of breaking mom's laptop so she can't work anymore. Sophie, are you even listening to yourself talking? You have to stop being her friend. No, she's cool. Unlike you, she doesn't tell me what to do. We have to warn the school counselor right away. Look, there it is. Are you sure? Sure, there's no other option. What if she finds out that it was us? How? Who else could it be? We're all alone. Yeah, I hadn't really thought of that. Pour a glass of water on it. Yeah, right. That way it'll look like it really was an accident. Sophie, what are you doing? Nothing. Nicole. Where are you? Nicole, she's the one who told you to destroy my laptop. No, she has nothing to do with this. You know what, Sophie? That Nicole is a bad influence. I don't want you to see her anymore. No, you can't make me do that. Yes, I can, dear. I'm your mother. Go to your room. No, you can't fire her. <laughs> fire her? That sounds really rough. What now? Hello, are you Sophie's mother? Yeah, why? Do you know who Nicole is? Uh, <laughs> why do we have to do it? <gasps> Don't worry, she'll calm down. But what if she fires you? I doubt that. But I don't want you to go. Oh, Sophie, I will always be here. Don't worry. And have you understood it from the test? Yeah, first I doubt. But when I came to your house to meet Nicole, it was so clear. This is my fault. I haven't been taking care of my daughter. To be honest, yeah, it's your fault. You don't have to be so honest. Fair enough. But you should keep track of who she hangs out with. We have to do something about this. Yeah, Nicole is a bad influence on your daughter. I know what you're saying. Sophie! Yeah, mom. 
problem? Please tell me who told you to break my laptop from work. She did. Sophie, who is she? Nicole, have you guys gone blind or what? Sophie, we don't see anyone. Nicole isn't real. Really? Mom, Nicole is my babysitter. You hired her yourself last week. Daughter, what are you saying? I never met Nicole. Okay, it was my fault. Yeah, you're correct. I promise I will spend more time with you from now on. You are my treasure. Really? Really, please forgive me. Okay, I'm leaving. Sophie, hey! I'm feeling better. But do you see, Nicole? Uh, uh, 